What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to this video. Um, a lot of people are doing this video. A lot of people who aren't even affected by it are doing this video. And uh, basically, if you've paid attention to anything, you know that YouTube has changed or, or at least announced changes to their partner program that go into effect towards the end of next month. Um, because of that, our channel will no, no longer be eligible for the partner program or monetization. And so we're just gonna give our, our thoughts on that and kind of talk about it. Um, I haven't really thought too much about this video. Um, so the thoughts are gonna be scattered. It won't be uh, really put together at all. Um, but I feel the need to, to make this. So we'll talk about it. We're gonna talk about if there's gonna be any changes or anything like that. Uh, we'll talk about all that in this video. Now, what YouTube is saying is that they need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. So their solution to that, at least this part of it, is to cut off all new channels that are growing. Interesting thought process, YouTube. Um, if you think about what happened earlier this year by one of the biggest channels on YouTube, why am I affected like in this, in this dramatically, seemingly dramatic way that I get cut from the partner program in order to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. And I'll show you the email here in a minute that we received. Um, but it's a very interesting thought process and I can't say that I understand it to an extent like I get what they might be like trying to do but basically what they said here was your channel's not big enough to take our money so we're gonna give that to all the bigger channels that's what that's how I interpret this um, so yeah, as of next month, we will no longer be a YouTube partner. Now, what does that mean for me specifically? Let's talk about what that means for me. We'll talk about what that means for the channel afterwards. Um, but for me, what I've liked so far about the partner program, which I've only been a part of since the middle or towards the end of November. So I only have had it for about three months is it seems like the views went up a little bit when that partner program was in effect. Um, now, maybe that's not the case. Maybe the series that came out after that were just more appealing. I don't know for sure uh, because you can never find out what's going on with YouTube's algorithms because they don't talk to anybody ever about anything like this. And so I don't know if when you're a partner your videos are in like the recommended videos to watch more often. I don't know if that was a result of it. Uh, I, re I, I really don't know anything. Now, as far as the money, like YouTube's not made, like, yes, YouTube is making me money right now, but it's it's negligible. I mean, I could, I could spend all of the money that I've ever made on YouTube in one dinner trip and it wouldn't even be like, I couldn't even go to like my favorite restaurant. Um, I haven't made a lot of money from YouTube or anything like that. That's not the thing. My thing is the way it seemed, the partner program was making it easier for me to get noticed, even though it didn't truly happen that much. Uh, that's just what it seemed like. So having it taken away shortly after I got it kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, it, it kind of sucks. Uh, it just doesn't seem like YouTube cares any about new channels and just throwing them away because of what's already out there. So here, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me switch it over. Check this out. This is the email that we were sent. It says, Domino, today we are announcing changes to the YouTube Partner Program. While our goal remains to keep the YPP open to as many channels as possible, we recognize we need to more we need more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. This is a lie. This is a blatant lie. 
That makes absolutely no sense to me. And then how, how, I don't understand how small channels are the reason that there's this ad apocalypse that happened last year where the ad revenue is all down. No, I add, okay, I, that was my mistake. I'll go back here. But anyway, um, th this is, this is the whole, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't understand how a new channel with 275 subscribers or something like that, which I appreciate all of you. I think you understand that my frustration is not at the, the slow, you, that, it's nothing like that. It's the platform of YouTube itself. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, this here is a blatant lie and this makes zero sense. So there's that. What's changing? Now, I want you to listen to how degrading this sounds. How, just, just listen to this. Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel Domino is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. Okay, cool. I get it. Cool. Awesome. You raised you raised the bar. I, I don't like it, but I mean, okay, 1,000 subscribers seems like a decent number to have as opposed to the 10,000 views. Because uh, you don't want just like one video going viral. I I can understand that aspect of it. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program on February 20th, 2018, unless you surpass this threshold in 30 days. Accordingly, this email serves as 30-day notice that your YouTube Partner Program terms are terminated. Reading through that again, it just, it continues to sound worse every time I read it. So uh, anyway, the rest of it says, one of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Con or creators who haven't yet reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy, our help center and all the resources the creator site. Once your channel reaches the new threshold, it will be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines. What policies and guidelines? We don't need to say any names, but there were some videos that have gone up this month that their channel is still thriving. Like I said, I didn't rehearse this video. I didn't think about this video and now I'm mad. Okay, what does that mean for our channel? Truly, nothing. We won't be changing anything because I'm gonna play the games. I'm enjoying playing the games and I love technology so I like editing stuff and I like putting it all together. Nothing will change. Um, however, I will be streaming on Twitch much more often. I will probably start posting to YouTube when I am doing streaming on Twitch. Uh, it'll just be one video whenever we're doing it. I don't know how I'm going to do that. That's that, but we're definitely going to be streaming on Twitch because I think Twitch is way better. And I, I didn't want to admit that until this came out. Twitch is by far the be the better platform. So, uh, and we'll see, maybe there will be something else similar to YouTube that will come out that we can change over to, um, that people will enjoy more, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing our thing because we're new. So like this doesn't like I said it doesn't affect me. It really doesn't affect me. The money that I've made so far, I could take to a decent dinner at like a steakhouse, not a big steakhouse, but like you know one of those small steakhouses and get a steak. Okay, uh, if even that, I don't even know for sure. But actually, you know what? I don't even think so. Uh, anyway, anyway, but it doesn't matter. Um, but we'll keep going. We'll keep grinding because we're having fun and we just get started. Uh, but here's what I'd like to ask. If you wind up enjoying a video, hitting the like button and sharing the video out really, really helps. Now, if somehow, and there's a couple ways that I was brainstorming last night on our stream, but there are some ways that we could hit these numbers <laughs> by the time, the, by February 20th. I don't think it'll happen. But there's some things that I'm trying to work on and we'll see where it goes. Um, I certainly have some connections that could help. 
but I don't want to just use those connections. Um, but anyway, that's that's a, another story for another time. Um, is that everything? Like I say in every update video, I, I just want to thank you all, you know, for for believing in what we're doing here. My goal of creating a YouTube channel was not to make money. It's because I finally had the free time to upload and to make content. So I got to use like this mass, this beast of a computer that I have sitting on my desk. I've had it for years and I never got to use it until this, until this year, like this past year. Like I'm rendering a video right now. I never would have done that um, without this. But then the, the main reason was to spread positivity. Um, when my life turned upside down at the er, during last year, almost a year ago, I turned to YouTube, I turned to Twitch, I turned to content creation, people that made videos, and I just, while I was recovering, just watched all the videos. So I'm trying to be that for someone else, and I'm trying, if I can influence one, one person with each video that I upload to spread positivity and to be the light that this world so desperately needs, I'll keep making content. That being said, the last thing I have to say is if I do wind up not having time to upload anymore, as in if I get a promotion at the job I'm at right now, or if I get a new teaching job and I can't multitask this in, I might have to say bye. Um, and that's not really affected by this. If I'm being honest, that, that's always been the case. There are three doors open in my life right now, whichever one God tells me to walk through. Gosh darn it, I'm walking right through it. And the other doors are gonna be closed. So we'll go ahead and stop there. I rambled on as I thought I was because I got a little angry in the middle of it, but YouTube changed their partner program. It sucks. They don't care anything about younger channels. It doesn't matter what they try and say with their Creator Academy and all this other stupid stuff that I don't know why they thought this was the, the reason for it, but we'll keep doing our thing. Ooh. Anyway, uh, again, if you'd like to help, share out a video or press the like button. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, have a blessed day.